Shalom, shalom, people. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Um, by Yashim Yahweh Shah. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is the 400 year prophecy and whatnot. Um, it's a lot of people saying that, you know, that, that already took place or whatnot. Um, during Egypt time, or during, you know, the time that our ancestors was, were in Egypt. Um, <clears throat> now, let me read this. It says, And he said unto Abraham, Noah was surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them, Four hundred years, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, the big question is, you know, um, is that past tense or is that future? As far as Genesis 15 and 13, um, I believe that is future prophecy. That's just my opinion, you know. Everybody got one. Um, but I still um, I still haven't found, you know, somebody who brings forth proof to validate if it's past tense or if it's, if it's, you know, in our near future or whatnot. Now, we know that uh, nobody knows the hour or nobody knows the day, but what did Yahweh Shah tell us that we would know the season? So by us knowing the season or whatnot, that's not giving a, a a date. We just knowing the season. And if we can look and uh, you know observe what's going on in the world right now, and then at the time that we're at, 2018 is 2018 uh, November. I mean October. Sorry. But we're in October 2018. And if we look and we see what's going on and happening around the world or whatnot, um, I mean, you know, uh, Stevie Wonder can see, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that America is going down. Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder can see that, uh, you know, you got all the nations or whatnot. It's, it's like uh, it's like going against America or rising up against America or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Whatnot. But we see that. Now, the 400-year prophecy. Now, my question to some of you Hebrews or whatnot who believe that, you know, the 400 years had already passed or whatnot. Um, why would the Most High say 400? 400 years at one point in time, and then why would he say 430 years? So I would like somebody to explain that for me or whatnot. So explain that to me. When the most I say 400, he mean 400. When he say 430, he mean 430. So, uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't feel like it's, you know, it's talking about the same thing. Now, let's go to uh, where it says 430 years at. And this is Exodus chapter 12. 
40. And it reads, Now the sojourning of the, of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. So it was 430 years. Okay. In Genesis, it says 400 years. Now, we have a witness in Acts 7 and 6. Acts 7 and 6. And it reads, and God spake on this wise that his seed should sojourn in a strange land and that they should bring them into bondage and entreat them evil 400 years. Now, my second question would be why didn't Paul mentioned 430 years like it was past tense. Like it was past tense. Um, another thing, <clears throat> uh, the time in Egypt, the Israelites wasn't in bondage for no 400 years. It wasn't near, but it wasn't even close to 400 years. If anything, it would be uh, 215 years, less than 215 years. Okay. It says 400 years, Acts 7 and 6, 400 years, uh, Genesis 15 and 13, but Exodus. 12 and 40 says 430 years. And it didn't it, it didn't even say says now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. So you know I, I'm not trying to say that I know everything or anything like that, but, you know, maybe somebody can edify me on this 400-year thing, you know what I'm saying, because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that the Israelites in Egypt served 400 years in bondage and, you know, was treated with evil or whatnot, because with Joseph being there and once all the Israelites came, you know, into Egypt or whatnot, they was, you know, they was living amongst the Egyptians. They wasn't in uh, bondage or anything like that. They was actually living amongst the people, you know. Um, so, you know, you would have to uh, explain that, you know, because they wasn't in captivity for 400 years in Egypt. If you do your research, or whatnot, if you know your history, but well, I mean, I, I just want somebody to explain to me or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? A 400 year prophecy. Um, it's like I say, I don't believe uh, the 400 year prophecy was in Egypt. I believe that's that's coming upon us now, as far as 2019. I mean, um, the writing on the wall, man. You know. Um, nobody knows the hour or the date, but what did he say about the season? So nobody's, you know what I'm saying, making, making a date or giving a, a, a time or, or anything like that, you know, like these other Hebrews or whatnot, uh, you know, they, they was like in 2000, you know, as soon as we hit 2000, then Christ was going to come. So, you know, you had dudes all on rooftops waiting on Christ at this particular time or whatnot.
But we don't know the hour or the day. But what did he say about the season and whatnot? And I'm going to let y'all, you know what I'm saying, think about that for a minute. What did he say about the season? You know, um, the season, the signs, and all that, you know? He gave us something. He didn't just leave us w w without nothing. You know what I'm saying? He gave us some kind of clue. You know, uh, but I just wanted to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? Ruffle, ruffle uh, some feathers or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because this need to be brought out. You know, you got uh, you got Ghana, you know, talking about the return of uh, the year of return, 2019. Is that a, a coincidence or what's that? You know, let's 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 speak up on that or whatnot. Um, also, we have the uh, the HR. I think it's forty two twelve or whatever that uh, uh, President Trump had passed the bill on or whatnot. Recognize that we've been in America for four hundred years. That's not you know prophetic or whatnot. The way I see it, I feel like when Donald Trump signed that, he sealed America's fate to be destroyed. Because now you have evidence on paper that we've been here for 400 years. And, you know, we all know that we still in slavery to this day. So... You know, I believe 400 years is, is, is coming to an end in 2019. And our captivity will be over when the Most High, you know, release us or whatnot. I don't know when. You know what I'm saying? But 2019 is 400 years. I know that much. I know uh, uh, we in 2008, and it's all kind of stuff that's going on in this world right now that's, 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 that's leading us out of here. That got that that got our Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, uh, in joy or whatnot. To we we about to we about to go home. Yes, a lot of Hebrew, uh, you know, Israelite sisters and brothers and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They believe we 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 at the door, and I hear it a lot. We at the door. 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 So, well, ain't we at the door of 2019? We at the door of 2019, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? If anybody want to come and, you know, make a comment or, you know, do a re rebuttal video or whatnot, you know, I didn't, I just put out a couple of main scriptures or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Speaking on this 400 years, it's, I, I, it's a lot more scriptures about this you know what i'm saying that we can get into or whatnot but i just want to you know just drop a little nugget out there or whatnot you know um i know me and my wife haven't been on lately uh we made a video but youtube decided to flag it and take it down or whatnot it was about uh, uh our old church and uh well my wife's old church and uh the pastor there and how he cheated on his wife committed adultery with a heathen, with a white woman, and had a baby with her. You know, so it's 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 a whole lot of stuff that's going on at that church right now, and uh, we were just you know trying to bring out a little bit of you know information about you know uh, these you know the, the churches and whatnot, these Christian churches and whatnot. Um, also, also, um, we had an announcement to make. Uh, me and my wife are with child. Um, you know, we're very happy about it. Uh, we will be giving a little bit more information in another video or whatnot. Uh, even also revealing the, the sex of the, the baby, of our baby. Um, so that's going to be, you know, it's going to be kind of good or whatnot. But, also, my wife, she's she's been very sick through this uh, pregnancy or whatnot. She's actually uh, like six and a half months. So about 22 weeks. 
Um, she's been having a lot of morning sickness and, you know, she, I mean, she just, this is just a real tough pregnancy right now, which her last two pregnancies was, was, was real tough. Um, before, um, before a little old baby, uh, Lawson, um, me and my wife had a, a son, his name was, uh, Logan. But um, he was a stillbirth, so you know that was uh, devastating. But you know, all my wife's, all my wife uh, pregnancies have been real. You know, like you know, she go through a lot. You know, just like she had morning sickness, and, and, and you know, she throws up you know, all the way to the end of her pregnancy. So, you know, that's that's like a bummer, you know. She really can't do nothing like that. But just lay in the bed, you know. Um, but my wife is strong. Um, you know, we got the most high behind us or whatnot. Um, but I guess that's just all I wanted to tell y'all. Let y'all know what was going on with the old family. You know what I'm saying? We consumed with a lot of things. You know, I just quit my job because they racist as hell up there. You know, that's a whole other story in itself. <clears throat> but I'm starting my own business or whatnot. You know, I'm going into construction for my own self. You know, I made business cards, shirts, all kind of stuff. I got my advertising out there or whatnot. You know. But, you know, I just can't do it no more with the job or whatnot. There's too much stuff going on where, you know, I'm almost fighting guys about some of the stuff that I hear or some of the stuff that they hear from me. But <clears throat> I just wanted to, you know, drop something down for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I always uh, was thinking about doing this video about the 400-year prophecy or whatnot. Um... I hope I get some feedback from it or whatnot, because I would like to discuss this a little more. Um, I guess that's it for right now. Uh, I will be doing another video soon, letting y'all know the, um, the gender of our baby or whatnot. Um, so, with that being said, uh, Shabbat Shalom, and uh, y'all have a good uh, Shabbat. Peace, Shalom.